This is question five from paper 2-2 from the June 2020 exams from Cambridge International Education. Up the top right of the screen, you'll find a card that'll bring you to a playlist for all my other videos of the questions in this paper. And you can find a link to an image of this question in the description below, and I recommend you try it before looking at my solution. In this question, they ask us relatively straightforward question. They ask us to graph these two equations, and then they ask us to solve an inequality. And we're going to use our graph to do that. So how do we go ahead and graph them? I have an x, y axis over here. They, they ask us to sketch them. Now sketching means you don't have to be too accurate. You don't necessarily need a ruler. Now I don't use a ruler anyway because I don't have a big one. Um, but really what you're looking for is a rough drawing and they want you to put the points in. Any points that are relevant like on the x axis or on the y axis. So let's do the easy one first. Uh, y is equal to 3x plus 5. Well, to draw this, we need a point, and the plus 5 tells us that it hits the y-axis at 5. Tells us that uh, because basically if x is 0, x is 0, then 3x is 0. y equals 5. x is 0, y equals 5. And um, this 3 here tells us the slope. Tells us the slope, that's slope 0, slope 1, slope 2, slope 3. So it's going to look something like um, like this. Now, slope 3 means when x moves 1, y moves 3. So when x moves back 1, y moves down 3. Or more to the point, x moves 1, y moves up 3. I should probably always go left or right. So anyway, what point could must this be? It must be one third of five. So we'll, we'll just call it that, uh, five over three. And uh, five over three is more than one and less than two. So, oh sorry, minus one, minus two, minus five over three. We can see roughly where it is. So that's, uh, that's pretty much my sketch of that line. But that's not where you're getting most of your marks. Most of your marks is to draw this one. This is an absolute value. Now, absolute value simply means Anything that's inside this, if it's a positive, it stays positive. But if it's a negative, it turns into a positive. So if minus two appears in there, it just becomes plus two. So to draw this, let me first um, draw this simpler one. Y is equal to two X minus three. I'll draw it without the absolute value. So uh, we'll do it the same way as we did this one. First of all, we get the Y intercept. That's minus three in this case. Um, let me put in, if this is plus 5, minus 3 is about down here. Again, you don't need exact accuracy here. Sketch is all they're looking for. And they have a plus, um, plus 2 slope. If this is a plus 3, plus 2 will be a little bit lower than this one. Uh, I'll use a red marker to draw this one here. And it uh, will look like this. So they're not parallel, they're diverging slightly. So we'll use this red line here. Now, uh, what is this point here? Uh, the slope is two, so when we move one x, we move up two. So we need to move, uh, to move three up, we need to move one and a half this way. So this is one, there's two, and this guy is uh, uh, three over two, one and a half, or three divided by two. Um, this two here, would, where, where this two would have come from, and this three would have come from here. All right, so that's that drawing, but it's not quite the absolute value yet. But remember what the absolute value said. If it's positive, if this is positive, and remember this is equal to y. So if this is positive, it's this positive. Well, here it's positive. This, this is y here. So here's y equals zero, y equals point something, y equals one, y equals two. All of this is positive. So it's gonna stay positive. So let me change this to black. That is, this will look the same as this in this part of the world. Now here's where our problem is. At this point here, um, what's, what point is this? Um, this would be about a half, I guess. Minus a half in this case. So at minus a half, what does this absolute value do? It changes it to plus. At minus a quarter, it changes it to plus a quarter. At minus three, it changes it to plus three. Let's put that in there, three. And all the, all the way here, any point, any minus point just becomes a plus point. So it looks something like uh, this. 
we'll draw it like that and that's what it that's what an absolute value looks like we can rub out the red or maybe we should have put the red in in pencil line if you're doing it in an exam pencil for the the red hair viral for the black ones um, or dotted lines as well is the other option maybe i should have put in dotted lines here that was just to help us draw it okay so that's part one that is the sketch of both of those um i would probably like to see i have this point this point i'd like to know this point usually but we're going to need that point for part b so i'll go ahead and find this in part b anyway okay part b is here 3x plus 5 is less than the absolute value of 2x minus 3. Now there's two ways to do this. We can do this using algebra. Just solve it using algebra. We'll have to square both sides to get rid of the absolute. And that'll give us an answer. But there's actually an easier way to do it. We can solve this by looking at the graph. Because here we have a 3x plus 5 is this line. And the absolute value of 2x minus 3 is this line. So just by looking at it, when is this line less than this one, less than on the y-axis where, because th that's what we've graphed it by. We've graphed this guy is equal to y. This guy is equal to y. So let's go through it here. How about this? Remember, this continues on up at a steeper angle. So which, which line do we want less than? Sorry, we want this one less than. So here, this is less than here. Less than, less than, it is, it is. It's less than, it's less than, it's less than, it's less than. It's less than. Here's where it changes. This line becomes more than, becomes more than, more than, more than. And it stays being more than everywhere over there. So the answer to this question is simply x is less than this point here. That's all. That's, we've solved this question if we knew what this point is. So instead of doing this question, I'm just going to find this point here, which is quite easy. We've been doing for many years finding the point of intersection of two lines. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We'll make a little space here. I think sh this should be enough. We need this line. Y is equal to 3X plus 5. And we need this line. Now here's a little tricky one. We don't have this line. We know it's equal. Y is equal plus 3 is the intercept. So we don't actually have this line. We know it's going down, so it's a minus slope. And uh, we know there'll be an x here. What is the, the slope here though? It's just the opposite of this slope. This slope was two, this one here is minus two. That's how um, the absolute value works, that's how a mirroring works, the symmetry between these two. We know this is minus two. Again, this is all I can just, this is something I guess you're expected to know over the years. Don't worry if you didn't. If you did do it algebraically, that's fine. But this is going to work out a little easier. Because now this is quite a simple simultaneous equation to solve. All we need to do is uh, take these away, I guess. Uh, let's take the top one minus the bottom one. So y minus y is 0. 3 minus minus 2 is 5x. And 5 minus 3 is 2. So we rearrange this. So we get 5x is equal to minus 2. x is equal to minus 2 over 5. And that's what we were looking for. Minus 2 over 5. And it looks right, doesn't it? It's less than 1 minus 1. Sorry, it's uh, I guess bigger than minus 1. It's less than 0. It's, it looks roughly, from our sketch, hopefully it was roughly correct. Although if your sketch did have to point this side of the line, don't be too worried. I, guess, I, I suppose I could have just drawn it. No, it could never have been this side because 3 is less than 5. So no, it definitely would have always been that side. Anyway, that's, uh, that's this intercept point. That is here. So that's all we needed for this answer. Minus 2 over 5. A much shorter way than solving this algebraically where we would have had to square both sides. Okay, um, hopefully that answers all your questions on this one. But if it doesn't, uh, please put them in the description below, in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer any of those. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.